first. Beyond Meat Burger. <sighs> it's time to cry later. Let's go. Hola there, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week video. If you're new here, what is up? My name is Julia, and I'm all about intuitive eating, living, and embracing your childlike nature. Whoa, that was kind of a lot. Ah, whatever. Can't do anything about it now. We love a sweet matcha. For breakfast today, I was really just feeling something super simple, easy, and nourishing at the same time, and a smoothie is the way to go for that. Lots of mango, blueberries, ashwagandha, hemp seeds, some walnuts, and um, chickpea flour because I didn't have any protein powder and I needed some more substance in here. <laughs> I also threw in some kale. Oh no. Where's the lid? He's been trying to think of this song for the last like four days and it finally popped into his head this morning. I hate when that happens. Finally, after days, it's just been sitting on your tongue, stewing, waiting. And then it comes out and you're like, I wish I had a banana so bad right now. It would make the smoothie a million times better. A little too kale but it's okay. After I made my smoothie, I sat outside, did some work, and enjoyed the summer heat while sipping on something cold. To me, that's a beautiful way to start the day. Get some sunshine in your eyes and get some nourishing in your body. For lunch, I'm not doing anything technical at all. I had some leftover salad Buddha bowl thingamajigger that is going to be in my recipe book. It doesn't look too appetizing right now, but trust me, it is delicious. And uh, the plating really does matter when it comes to this. <laughs> but after I made it originally, I just chucked it into a silicone baggie and saved it for later. There we go. I'm gonna show you how to make this chocolate peanut butter matcha latte using my favorite brand of matcha, matcha.com, also known as matcha kari. So let me tell you about them while we make this. So first we're gonna add some peanut butter and some milk to a jar and shake it up really well. It is currently matcha prime day today and tomorrow and you can head over to their website using the link down in my description box and save when you sign up to their matcha prime subscription. And now to the same jar we're gonna add some more milk cocoa powder, and some maple syrup. The matcha for matcha kari is grown in Yuji, which is just outside of Kyoto, Ooh. the ancient capital of Japan. Now before we pour this on top, let's whisk together our greener than green matcha for matcha kari. There are only about 60 authentic matcha farms that still exist to this day. When you support matcha.com, you are helping to keep ancient traditions alive and well, which in my opinion, has so much value in this world. Head over to matcha.com using the link down in my description box and you can save even more right now during Matcha Prime Day today and tomorrow, so don't miss out. And another big thank you to matcha.com for all you do. Oh, that is so good. It's like I'm losing my mind and I'm so What's a girl gotta do? Featuring Bush. Ugh. For dinner tonight, I'm making a peanut butter curry. Yes, a peanut butter curry because that sounds absolutely delicious in my opinion. I started off by just sauteing up some tofu and browning that and then setting it aside simply because I'm making curry for more than me and I didn't want to throw tofu into the entire thing. But I actually started off my curry by sauteing up some onions, ginger, and garlic with some curry spice as well, throwing in my broccoli and snow peas after a little bit, along with a can of coconut milk and a can worth of water. Although I should have only added about a half a can of water. My mistake, sometimes you make them, that's okay. Threw in a decent amount of miso and a lot of peanut butter as well, along with some soy sauce for some extra saltiness and umami flavor and half of a lime's juice. We gotta add that acidity, especially when we're cooking with coconut milk because we just gotta cut the fat a little bit. Not actually cutting fat, because that's not going to do anything to the amount of fat in the coconut oil, or coconut milk, I should say, but 
the flavor balance, you know? We gotta balance the flavors out. I plated my curry up with some brown rice and then topped it off with the browned-ish tofu. I really just gave up on it, to be honest. It looks very bland and sad, but it was just for me. And sometimes you get a little lazy for yourself in the kitchen and that's okay. <laughs> Remember that food doesn't always have to be a perfect presentation or the most beautiful, aesthetically pleasing thing. Sometimes it can just be delicious and nourishing and enjoyable. Enjoy your food, my friends. It doesn't always have to look enjoyable, but it can taste enjoyable. Let's normalize unesthetic food, okay? <laughs> I started this rainy day off with a coffee because coffee on a rainy day is just a happy place in my books. <laughs> So things are not going to plan right now. The person that I subletted my apartment to apparently is not a good person. And there's been so many complaints about it from the other tenants in the building. And just, I'm really nervous to see what my apartment is gonna look like right now. And I'm like on my way because I have to like evict them. I don't know, I just was, hoping it would go well and it's not and we're only five days in five days five days in and I have to evict the people I just really hope that everything from here on out goes smoothly and I can get my keys back and we can change the locks and my apartment isn't too trashed I don't know like I didn't move everything out you know like I left my furniture and I left like my great-grandmother's desk and I left like my grandmother's jewelry box and like I didn't leave anything in the jewelry box but still like I just really hope shit isn't smashed or like broken and ruined. <laughs> I just... I just really... <laughs> So after this extremely anxious, crazy day, I really needed something super simple for dinner. I chopped up some onion, I chopped up some portobello mushroom, I already had a sweet potato cooked, hanging out, needing to be eaten, 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 something like that. <laughs> Adding a decent amount of oil to my pan along with my onions, mushrooms, and my garlic, letting that saute for a little bit and seasoning it with some chili flakes, some oregano, some salt, some pepper, some rosemary and letting that hang out until my mushrooms were nice and brown. And then I had some extra tofu hanging out too, threw that in there. This is literally just everything that I should have been eating into a pan. Yuck, ugh, I hate when spinach gets like that. Well, that's what happens when you barely use it. And then it goes bad, because you've been sucking at cooking recently. <laughs> I was really just feeling throwing all of this mixture onto some toast because that sounds delicious in my books and so simple. I topped my toast off with some vegan cream cheese, some avocado and my mixture. And I do just wanna say because of this anxious, crazy day, I was not as hungry. My eyes were bigger than my stomach, 1 million percent. I only ate one of these pieces of toast, which you will see me eat in a bit. Oh, you can't see my face at all. <laughs> hey guys. I kinda liked it without the face. <laughs> okay, how do you cut things? Do you cut with your left hand and use your fork with your right hand or do you cut with your right hand and use your fork with your left hand? I start it with my right, hold it with, and then hold it with my left. Switch? I normally switch to, and I'm trying not to. I kind of want to be a little bit ambidextrous. <laughs> I should be able to use a fucking fork with my left hand. This is too much food. I barely ate all day. The first thing that I ate today was 
what I ate in the parking lot outside of my apartment. Starting my day off with some AG1 to help assist my body and my gut perform a little bit better, especially during a crazy, stressful, and anxious week. When we have these emotions inside of us, it's really difficult to eat properly, and it's really difficult for our bodies to function properly. So giving ourselves a little extra oomph, a little extra kick, some extra vitamins, and some extra nourishment is something we definitely need during hard times. Fueling my body properly is one reason why I am such a happy person. When I don't fuel my body properly, I feel the effects in my emotions, in my attitude and how I view the world and my life. When I put some time into nourishing my body, nourishing my soul, nourishing my heart, nourishing my mind, I feel so much better about everything, my friends. And that's why embracing my childlike nature is so important to me because it's healing. This is like dessert. Oh, ooh, yes. Ah! Ah! What a great way to start the day. Come on. Nourishing our bodies doesn't always have to be crazy complex to the book and perfect in any sort of way. Sometimes it means enjoying dark chocolate on some fresh fruit. The theme this week really is just use up what I have in the house because I'm taking up too much space in somebody else's kitchen. Um, you may notice that I'm in someone else's kitchen. If you haven't noticed, you're probably new here. Go watch another What I Eat in a Week video because this is not my original kitchen. <laughs> but yeah, we're making a stir fry. One of my favorite things to make. It is delicious, nourishing, flavorful, all of the things that make my soul happy. I will write the entire ingredient list for that sauce down in the description box because mwah, mwah, we got all of our veggies in there along with our edamame. And now I am cooking up these tapioca vermicelli rice noodle. Not even, they're tapioca starch noodles. I have never had these before, but they taste pretty well like rice noodles and I enjoy them. I thought it was really fun and different. And I always encourage you guys to try something new. Go to a weird grocery store and pick up something intriguing. Pick up something that catches your eye and give it a try because that's how we learn what we like by just simply trying new things and experimenting with our diets, with our lives, with our emotions, with everything my friends go out try something new okay it's important to do this it's also important to go back for seconds when we're still hungry that is a must so on this night it was one of my friends birthday parties so i hung out i had a couple coronas and i had a big old vegan plant-based sausage i packed it full with so many good things and enjoyed mm. Smile? Do you want to see yourself on it? <laughs> That's you. No, oh, you look at your smile. That's you. That's you. And it's me. And that's you. See? We're both on it. You, me. I love starting my day off with a simple cup of matcha, especially in this cute new freaking cup. Like, can we just acknowledge how cute this freaking cup is? Oh, I'm in love with it. And here I am eating my leftovers because eat your leftovers, my friends. Don't waste food. It's just, it makes my heart sad, okay? Don't waste your food. If you need to spice it up a little bit, add some more sauces, add some more flavoring, add some more spices to your leftovers to make it more exciting. And again, here's me enjoying some more leftovers. I had some balsamic vegetables hanging out in the fridge along with some extra pasta. I threw some extra tomato sauce in here that's been hanging out for like a week. It smelled fine, it tasted fine, it looked fine, so it's probably fine. 
And here comes some more leftovers, an extra plant-based sausage that I didn't eat last night. Packed all of that into a pot and warmed it up and then enjoyed about half of it, maybe just slightly over half of it because it was a massive amount of pasta. <laughs> For dinner tonight, I am just going to warm up some leftover plant-based sausages because I'm hanging out with some friends and sometimes life has to be simple. I'm warming up some sausages for them and I'm also throwing a burger into the same pan that I'm warming up my vegan sausages. Ooh, I love Dijon mustard. It's so good. Mm -hmm. That's the way mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys may think that is disgusting or I shouldn't do that. I'm not a real vegan. If I warm up food in the same pan as meat or whatever the case may be, you may have your judgments on me and honestly, I don't care. I'm comfortable with this and it doesn't bother me whatsoever and that's what's really important here. The way I live my life and the things that I do and the choices that I make do not have to make sense to you or to anyone else. And I think that's a really beautiful part of living life is we all get to live it differently and we all get to live in a way that feels good to us. It makes us comfortable. And to me, eating a sausage, saving a dish, drinking a beer, hanging out with friends and sitting in the grass was the way that I wanted to enjoy myself on this evening. And it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else. See you tomorrow. Cheers. I have seen too many people do this sort of thing for me not to try it. So today was the day I whipped out a banana, I slathered it in peanut butter and chocolate, covered it in some hemp seeds with a touch of salt as well because chocolate and salt just need to be together. Mwah. I put it into the freezer for about 15 or so minutes and when I came back, oh my gosh, my heart was so happy. It was like a banana chocolate peanut butter popsicle. Mm. It's a must try, it's a must do. It is freaking delicious and so simple. I'm loving this. So much. So my last What I Eat in a Week video where you guys told me what to eat for the week, which was such a good one. And if you have not watched it yet, definitely go check that one out. There's so many fun, delicious, and exciting recipes in that one. So go watch it, okay? Links in the cards. But I ripped tofu up multiple times in that video and now it's just how I wanna live my life. It's so much easier than trying to cut it in cute little cubes even though I already did that once in this video, but you know what, it's fine. I threw together a fun and delicious sauce to throw on top of my veggies and my tofu, and we're just going to warm up some leftover brown rice because use what's in your fridge, my friends. After I got this sauce into the pan, I combined everything together and just let that warm up for a minute or two, and then once everything was good to go, I threw it on top of my brown rice, and this, Look at the color, look Look at that color. Look at this gorgeousness, sauciness, flavorfulness. Mmm, full recipe down in the description box. Do not worry, I will not skip out on you guys and enjoying its perfection. Sometimes you just need a little sharky to make yourself feel better. That's just life, my friend. Hi, um, could I get a Beyond Meat burger with no cheese and no mayo? Sure, would you like mozzarella? Um, yes. Uh, would you like to make it a combo or just the burger? Just the burger is fine. Anything else? No, that's everything. Thank you. I only like certain fast food places fries and I don't really like A&W's fries. Wonderful, thank you so much. <laughs> it's time to add some hot sauce because it's needed for one. There's like no sauce on this, sauce on this, and some sauerkraut. Oh, I have vegan mayo. Mm. Gotta love when the squeeze bottle just wants to fart. All my forks and knives are currently in my car, so nature's forks. A little bit of this. Some of this and voila. So this week has honestly just been so insane and so many things have happened. It hasn't even felt like a week. It's felt like five weeks 
and <laughs> at the same time it's gone by in a second so i just feel like i just don't know like i just don't know what necessarily to do next and i feel ideas brewing in my head and i feel kind of confident in the ideas but at the same time like it's just been so much but with that said thank you for joining me on this very real and honest week of food i really need to take a bite of that burger i want to show you guys the realistic side of food because at the end of the day not every single week is perfect you don't have time to cook or so you're in somebody else's kitchen because you're basically homeless for a week while your trailer is getting fixed and you've subletted your apartment to somebody that you had to evict anyways sometimes life is crazy <laughs> that's not to say that we shouldn't take nourishing our bodies seriously but at the same time we have to give ourselves grace we have to be able to know what is a priority and what isn't a priority and sometimes a perfect meal has to fall onto the back burner because we just have so many other things to deal with our bodies are so adaptable and so able to handle change but we still need to know that putting good things into our body is a good thing to do for ourselves mentally, physically, emotionally, soulfully, spiritually. It's a good thing to do and it's not always realistic. And burgers and sausages taste great. So live it up my friends. If you haven't kept up to date on the adventure series that's on my channel, make sure you check that out. There is a whole playlist. Well, there's only a few videos in that playlist, but many more to come. <laughs> many updates and changes are happening. So yeah, don't miss out. Also, if you haven't heard, I am now on Patreon. So the link is down in my description box and make sure you sign up for exclusive content and we can be BFFs on the other side. Anyways, I love you all. Hit the like button and subscribe button because I always forget to say that. See you guys soon.